the University of Northwestern Ohio, offering rare access to professional racing through a unique curriculum, propels young men and women into the fiercely competitive world of motorsports. Those careers start right here. Mind, character, physical ability, Motorsports U, the art of educating all three. Previously on Motorsports U, students from the University of Northwestern Ohio traveled to Martinsville Speedway to work on crews for the NASCAR Wayland Modified Tour and the NASCAR Canyon Filters Pro Series, giving them valuable hands-on experience and exposure. Being able to sponsor all these big races and get us in front of all the NASCAR crew members and crew chiefs and even car owners, stuff like that, and having them see us work and hopefully performing well, I mean, that that's everything that's going to potentially lead to a job or a career someday and you just want to perform as best as you can in front of them. Oh yeah, no, the kids are great. They're, I shouldn't even be calling them kids or young adults. They do, they do a great job for us. They, uh, they're learning but they're all like sponges. They're sucking up everything they can get and, and learning everything they can, and they're doing a great job for us. This week, the class removes back to Lima Land Motorsports Park for Firecracker Friday. It's a full house with two featured races to make up for rainouts. Three rookie drivers are getting the chance to compete for the school in tonight's events, so there's going to be lots of action for the UNOH teams. I'd like to get a top five finish or so, but since it's my first time racing, I'm not shooting for the clouds tonight. I'm just out here. I don't want to wreck anybody or tear up the school stuff. My personal goal is, this is my first week driving, we all get two weeks driving. I'm gonna go out there and you know, see how, get to know the car real well, and get some experience under me. I got hot laps, a uh, heat race, and a feature. Uh, either the B main or the A main, depending on how many cars show up and how well I finish. And then uh, my main goal is just get acquainted with the track and the car, and uh, build up a little bit of skill driving so I can really go out next time I drive and see what I can do. That's what I wanted to do since I even knew I was coming here. And I, since I found out they had the race car team and everything, it's like, oh man, I, I wish I could drive one of those cars. I never really thought it would happen, but I'm glad it has. It's my last year here, so. I think the progress the students have made this year is the best we've had in the three years we've been doing the teams. Um, our mod division, those students are doing great. Moving on, and the stock division, we rotate all the team members so they all get a drive. Tonight we have three new ones, so we'll see how they do tonight with double features. With two featured races tonight at Lima Land, the modified drivers will have a chance to continue their improvement on the track. Well, the first race is actually going to be the makeup from a couple days ago, uh, or a couple weeks rather. Um, and since we're, we qualified 11th, but since we're running a different car, we actually have to start on the tail. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge coming from the back, but we'll see what happens. It's like playing uh, gambling here. You know, we got to come out good in this feature for the rest of the night to go well. The teams have won heat races in recent outings, but Chris and Andy are still looking for a featured win. Chris's outside pole possession in this first race gives the team a good chance to make that happen. Yeah, I think I'm getting more used to uh, how much harder I have to drive these four bar cars versus what I've drove in the past, how much harder I have to drive them. Because the harder you drive them, actually, the better they are. For the first feature, I'm just going to try to get reacquainted with this car and uh, get comfortable and 
Try not to tear anything up before the regular show. Uh, I think I'm just calm, you know, learning the car more and getting comfortable with the car and learning the track. You know, it's a lot, a lot more horsepower than what I was used to, so take my time and I learned the car, so now we're getting better every, every week, so. Uh, strategy, starting on the outside pole, is get out front as much as, as quick as I can and stay there. You know, I only got one car to pass, and hopefully we can get him going into turn one. I'd love to win. I'd love to win for the team, so. Andy's been doing really well, um, getting a lot better in the car, a lot more feel for the car, and getting really comfortable. Uh, we've been finishing almost every race, and he knows how to drive. He knows what he's got to do every week, and we're just going to go out here and see what happens. Um, try and use this first feature to our benefit as a practice, and maybe get a solid finish in the second one. Uh, that's uh, Chris will come in, and he usually has a good feel for the car. Now he'll uh, he'll tell me what he wants to have, and then and I'll see. You know, we'll go and we'll we'll look back at our notes from previous races, and then we'll go we'll make the decision then. Race fans, 20 laps, 20 laps for the Canon UMP modified. We go green. Chris and Andy both ran solid races with top 10 finishes. With the competition at Lima Land consisting of greats like Todd Sherman and Tony Anderson, it's tough to take a win. It was Jeff Ludek who brought home the title in the first feature tonight. Ah, it's a little hard to see out there. The sun's beating on you coming out of, out of turn two. I mean, I ran out of tear offs about halfway through all the, the guys running up front. I mean, you'd get near them and they'd blow dirt all in your face, you couldn't see, but uh, we tried our best. I mean, I hope the guys aren't pissed off me. We got into Sean Bailiff a little bit. I shot underneath him and bent the hood a little bit, but uh, other than that, I think we were, we were pretty good for what, what the track was. It was pretty slick out there. Uh, we started towards the back and I was slow, uh, slowly working my way forward and still getting used to the car. Um, I need to drive it a little bit harder. Still getting used to it. We're, we went forward, finished better than what we started, so wasn't a bad start to the night. So, now what they're wanting us to do is when when you stay in the throttle, the car will actually it'll go through the turn better if you stay on the throttle. So they want us to not not lift off the throttle as much or at all and let the car settle down. They want us to keep it keep it the momentum up is what they want us to do. I think the biggest challenge uh, with our stock program and putting in new drivers every week is that they have to relate good with the crew chief. And so far we've been successful with that. You're not always going to have the same crew chief, the same driver. So by mixing it up, it gives all the students in the program the opportunity to be involved and learn and under some pressure situations. So I'm excited about being out here tonight and seeing how the new kids do. I actually don't have any experience coming into this. The only time I've been on the track is uh, driver tryouts, and this, the first time I was in this car was last night, hot lapping it behind the building. It was driver tryouts, I was in uh, the number two car. So this is a new car for me too, and it's only my second time out on the track. Oh uh, yeah, the driver tryouts is my first time ever in a car, so this is my first time driving. They're putting us in the back of the heat, so. We get to start in the back, and the only way to go from there is forward, so we'll see what happens with it. Tonight, I just want to get accustomed to the car and hopefully have some fun and try not to tear up anything too bad or wreck anybody. 
The three rookie drivers for the stock division have never competed at this level before. However, they've all gone through the stringent driver tryouts, so the coaches know they are capable of handling the cars in a competitive situation. Nerves are on edge for the three rookie drivers, and all three drivers make rookie mistakes. One car picks up some serious damage after hitting the wall, and it's going to take a great effort by the crew to get this car back on track tonight. Uh, it's almost indescribable. I mean, one second you're just going, now it's feeling good, running fast, and then right into the wall, and you feel it. The whole shot goes right through the car, and as you can see, it, the shock was enough to mess up three of my corners, and it just, you feel it good. I hit so hard, it popped over my visor. I just, it's kept on going. I'll be sore tomorrow, but I'm feeling good. I'm ready to get back out there. My crew's working hard. Everybody in the team's getting ready to get me back out there. So hopefully we'll make it and kick the car on the track this time and see how we do. It's, it's like his mind said, we're just going to stick this thing in there, and it didn't stick to the track at all. Um, basically, replace the suspension on the left side. They got to replace the shackle on the back for the leaf spring. They bent it all up. The right rear, they have to replace the leaf spring. They broke the leaf spring. Uh, right front, they're replacing upper, lower control arm, maybe a spindle. Hit the wall pretty good. Bent it up. Uh, as long as they don't hit any pro problems, we should be able to get it done. If we run into some problems, it might be going in the trailer. <laughs> well, we got to change a uh, right lower A-arm. So you bent a bowl joint when I hit the wall. We cracked the leaf spring, and I think we broke a mount on the left side too. So we got quite a lot of work to do. When it hit got up against the wall, it knocked a pin off and centers it. So now we got to put a whole new spring assembly on. And he's uh, fighting with a spacer that's not being very cooperative right now. Felt great. It was nice and nice and loose like I wanted it. So I was able to throw it around in the track a little bit easier than I was in the heat race. And I just loved it. Got into number 21Z a little bit coming out of turn two on a second lap and I didn't mean to. I let it out of it, try to get away from him, but he was right there and he straightened me out. Hope luckily and I just got around him and stayed there. I felt great. I loved it. There's definitely more stress here at the racetrack than doing it in a classroom where you have five hours. Here we have a matter of maybe 30 minutes. We've got to get our junk race car back together and get it out on the track. It's definitely a, a better learning experience or a better experience than a classroom. You learn the uh, pressure involved in racing. It puts a whole new twist on your uh, ability to turn wrenches. Yeah, I'm very happy with that for my first time out. Ended up passing the guy right off the start and ended up passing the guy after he spun out. And I'm very happy going from seventh to sixth. I gained one spot. Uh, it felt completely different than driver tryouts. Uh, I mean, I know it's a different car and everything. Just, I guess I'm just not used to it enough. Hopefully, it'll, I'll do a little better in the B main, but I still gotta get used to the car and this whole driving around the track. I don't know. I'm used to dirt bikes and four wheelers, not not cars. I really wasn't nervous, honestly. I was just out there trying to have fun and uh, trying to do what Mr. Pullman told me to. He said that. I need to go into the turns faster, let off, throw the car sideways, and follow it out with the throttle. And I was just trying to do that the best I could. And it seemed like it was working out there a couple times, but other times I just push right up into the corner and couldn't get it sideways. The team and coaches did get this car back onto track, and all three drivers raced in the A main and made good runs as rookie drivers, representing the school very well. It's always impressive to see the students come out and run the cars, uh, especially, you never know, when you put somebody out there with uh, very little or no experience, sometimes they, the cream rises to the crop, sometimes it goes to the bottom, so uh, it's kind of interesting. Both Chris and Andy ran good heat races and qualified for the AMA. Andy started fifth and Chris at ninth.
ending his night of racing. Car was real fast. Uh, it's a shame that, and, you know. Honestly, I, I just drove in trying to get above, up above the guy in front of me and try and make a pass, and it just got way loose, and I couldn't save it, and spun out, and got the front end clipped, and uh, took us out of the race. I'm not too happy right now, but I feel bad for the guys that you know put all the hard work with me and Michael and Freddie and Zach. And I hate for it to go home in pieces, you know. Seven laps are complete. Andy finished with an impressive sixth place effort to cap off a pretty tough night of racing for the UNOH racers. Started off pretty good, running fifth, uh, made just a little bit of bobble and uh, Anderson got underneath me going into one, got back in line, uh, kind of held my own, uh, made a couple mistakes but I kept it on the bottom we were able to finish uh, sixth, real happy with that, it's definitely the best finish we've had in the mod this year. Kind of, I kind of learned from my mistakes last week, running the top, come feature time, like earlier in the night, it was still had moisture, but uh, once a feature, especially after those sprint cars, the only moisture was on the bottom, and I could get a really good run coming off the tube by putting my left rear right in it. And uh, that's, I think how we got the solid top 10 finish. Uh, we had a, quite a few bumps and bruises in the middle of the evening, yes. Uh, the problem we run into is we run a lot of new drivers in the stock cars. It's their first year on the team. We've never had them out in an actual racing environment before. So gives us an indication of their abilities while they're out there. Although we do put them through a stringent tryout procedure and try to test them as best we can there against uh, the track and against other vehicles so that we don't have to tear them up in competition. Unfortunately, we ended up with some torn up vehicles in competition tonight. Uh, I can't say all in all a good night because all in all it's probably one of the worst nights we've had in the last four years. But we are all loaded up and they've got two weeks off so we've got plenty of time to get things fixed. Yeah, I mean, Nobody ever wants to go home not finishing a race. I mean, I, I race because I love it, and it, it <laughs> off a little bit that I, I can't finish every race. And I mean, you're not going to finish every race, but I just wish that things didn't have to turn out the way that they did tonight. I hope I don't have another night like this in a long, long time. <laughs> Always looking to do better. We are racers in the end. Next week on Motorsports U, Lima Land Speedway will be celebrating its 75th anniversary and the pressure is on for the students to make a good showing for what will be a packed house. We're constantly talking with drivers, trying to get them to change. Uh, if we see something in the driver that they need to change to be a little bit more competitive on the track. and and also to be aware of where opportunities are on the track, whether there's a certain area they need to be at versus where they are running at. And it, it, it's an educational thing and they're learning as we go along with it. And they're doing a wonderful job adapting and adjusting to track conditions, uh, their abilities, and also the adjustments on the car as well. Mr. Stryker and Pullman pulled me and Andy in the, to the white trailer and had like a little, little chit chat about uh, what Andy was doing that I needed to do. And I mean, it's a little hard for for one driver to take what another one says because I, I don't drive necessarily exactly the same as Andy. So uh, it, was, it was helpful in a way because I understood what he was doing and took it to my, you know, used it to my own advantage. And uh, it definitely helped because I learned the car a lot more and it was 10 times better than it's been all year. Almost, almost that hole going into one after one of the restarts. Just didn't quite get enough drive off 
too, but uh, I was real happy with that. 